What if you could ship your products to Amazon three times cheaper? And what if there would be no inventory limits? That would be pretty amazing, right? In this video, I will tell you how you can do that. Subscribe to the channel to get new videos every week. So how would you like to ship your goods to Amazon three times cheaper? And this can be done using Amazon's new star program, which is basically about the upstream storage. So yeah, I mean, previously we have already talked about this uh, Amazon Global Logistics, but they are basically taking it to the next level. So I mean, Amazon Global Logistics has already been around since last year so that's not really nothing new i mean uh, they have been doing this for a while and of course i mean it has has its hiccups but um, if you don't know what it, it what it is so it basically means that it just helps you to send your inventory to amazon fulfillment centers from china so and it's not only with us so it, they are base, basically going to be expanding to most of the marketplaces they are selling so currently it's already like uh, you, different european countries uh, as well but basically i mean the way it works that you just create an fba shipment as usual and then you're just going to be doing these different cross-border documentation and uh, pay for customs duties and related charges and then additionally it has this ability to track the shipments until that actually arrives at the full fulfillment center. And thing is that, I mean, it's not all, only ocean or air, so it basically covers both. So you can get pretty competitive rates from this. And uh, it, the point of it that it basically simplifies uh, logistics, meaning that you can handle most of the stuff uh, inside seller central. And different benefits are that, that basically they take care of the origin and destination handling, which means that Amazon is co going to coordinate the uh, I mean, loading, transferring, and that kind of stuff. And going to be helping with customs clearance as well. Then you can basically get different freight costs inside of uh, Seller Central when you're basically replenishing the inventory. So it means that you just provide this booking details and prefer shipping modes and get these uh, cost estimates. So it means that you, you just need to set up this import of importers of uh, records and including different bond details and power of attorneys. And they are also like saying flexible payment methods and the Nice thing about this is also this tracking that you're able, basically able to track the whole, whole thing until the fulfillment center. But yeah, I mean that that's old news already. So it's been around since last year. So completely new thing, and it's basically a pilot thing that's going on. Amazon is this ship to Amazon upstream storage facility and replenishment which they are calling star service. So um, maybe you have already received this invoice, uh, sorry, email, where they basically saying that, hey, I mean, they have started this new pilot service. And um, it's, it's, it's for sellers who inbound regular, regularly from China, but are basically in, impacted by the Amazon seller limits in the US and who <laughs> who is not impacted by those limits i mean that's basically impact i mean all sellers pretty much so the star program it allows you to store your inventory at destination before sending it to amazon fulfillment centers which means that uh, i mean if you have been using this uh, third party warehouses and fulfillment centers, then Amazon is, is going, going to actually helping with that as well. So 
this means that you can see with Amazon standard ocean transportation to an Amazon upstream storage facility in the US. And Amazon then will auto replenish your inventory to fulfillment centers in the year, US. Meaning that you, your, your products uh, leave, leave, leave China, the supplier, but then before, I mean, with, you don't have the need to send everything directly to the fulfillment center. You would actually have this upstream storage facility, like different kind of facility that will then going to be like auto replenishing inventory to the fulfillment center as you're like um, on a basically on a need basis. So the key benefits of the STAR program is that yeah, I mean, there's no in inventory limits. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's auto replaced inventory will not be subject, subject to inbound and storage limits at Amazon upstream storage facility or fulfillment centers. So that's pretty cool, right? Who likes this? That's definitely like a huge bonus, meaning that you are not that much limited with these different um, inventory limits. And then, additionally, this kind of uh, cost saving. According to Amazon, it's like 47 to 63% lower storage costs than fulfillment centers. So, and there's no charge for replenishment to fulfillment centers. Which means that, I mean, as, as your goods, I mean, when they are leaving, uh, Let's say that in the U.S. they are going leaving uh, the the storage storage and uh, sent to the full mint center. I mean, there's no additional cost then. And same thing with uh, that, that there's no charge for overages in in uh, fulfillment centers. Like for example, in the full fulfillment centers that, I mean, if, if, you, if your products are not moving there, then Amazon is going to be charging you your fee, like long-term storage fee, which is not nice at all. And additionally, it's basically hands off the wheel. So Amazon is going to replenish these items with the average lead time of one to seven days. That means that, oh, oops, you just run out of stock. I mean, no worries. I mean, we, we can get new stock from these uh, in one to seven days. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, that's probably going to be faster than what your third party uh, fulfillment or third party warehouse is doing. Or what do you think? Then in stock program eligible. So inventory that's out of stock in the fulfillment centers, which means that, because typically, I mean, once you're, um, once you're out of stock, then, I mean, then the product listing is basically not viable anymore and it's not searchable either. But this, in this case, like if, if you, if you have, if you run out of stock in the fulfillment center, but still have inventory here, then it's still searchable and viable, viable if, if you had inventory in this Amazon upstream storage facility, or that you already have in transit from the Amazon upstream storage facility to the fulfillment centers. So, so this basically adds an extra, uh, Flexibility, meaning that, I mean, it definitely adds your adds to your ability to control more on, on the stock levels. So this this is basically the uh, different like uh, pricing list, and but I mean this is this very very period is for like uh, September. So I mean with shipping, I mean the prices change all the time. <laughs> especially like during busy seasons, like the last quarter of the year. But I mean, overall, it's pretty, uh, pretty like cost effective. So, I mean, we have, we signed up for this and we don't still have the, that much resource, but we actually have some uh, resource from our students. And let's see what this uh, one student, what kind of students 
what, what kind of results this student got from the STAR program. So he had his first shipment to the US and the shipping was three times cheaper than others. And uh, I mean, he, he was getting like quotes from several different uh, uh, freight forwarders. Like, like that's the way you should always work. I mean, basically we, we, we are not having any kind of loyalty like, to freight forwarders. No, I mean, we use, usually the way we work is that we get the different quotes from different providers and then check that, hey, I mean, this, this offers the best uh, price and the best service. So we're just going to go with this. So there's not really kind of loyalty that, hey, I mean, uh, that uh, we, we would stick around with one freight forward if we are going to get a better price with someone else. But yeah, I mean, can you imagine that like three times cheaper than all the other quotes that uh, they got? Then, like once uh, it arrived on, on this uh, on storage, so basically, the, I mean, Amazon Star, this third party warehouse price was like two to three times cheaper than other third party warehouses. So typically the way that I mean, we've been working is that we, we have all this, um, we're using different like uh, fulfillment services and different kind of warehouse in, in the target market. For example, in US, so we, we don't store everything on Amazon. No, I mean, we, we have like third party providers we, who, are we, who are we using basically storing some of the goods. So, I mean, this student was doing the same thing and basically the price that he got from Amazon Star was like two to three times cheaper than the other third party warehouse. Then, then moving the actual stock from this uh, star like uh, warehouse, whatever you want to call it, to fulfillment center. I mean, it was sent by UPS to FBA and there was no additional cost so i mean this is sounds like really cool and really promising so i definitely recommend everyone just to sign up for this and um, I, i'm not i'm not actually quite sure like how to get into the pilot program but uh, i mean if you get an email from amazon just uh, reply that oh, you want you you want to try it out but the first thing anyway is that you need to set up this uh, Amazon Global Logistics account. And it's not, it's not uh, that uh, quick process because you're going to be, uh, you need to provide all sorts of documentation and that's, that takes a while. So I definitely recommend everyone that just sign up for this Amazon Global Logistics account right now and then uh, get the, basically the process started. I mean, for us getting this account, I don't know. I mean, it probably took like months. So it was, it was pretty crazy because they kept asking the same documentations like over and over again. You need to sign again and again and again. And I heard the same experience from uh, other settlers. So, but uh, in, anyway, I mean, if you want to get into the STAR program, then step number one is to create this Amazon Global Log Logistics account. So have you been using Amazon STAR program? or global shipping by Amazon, let me know. If you like this video, then hit the thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel to get new tips every week. And if you need my help with selling on Amazon and want to learn more about it, then sign up for my free training and book a call with me. See you soon.